What's good everyone, it's your boy Dubs and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting close to our goal of 17K subs before NBA 2K24, but I can't do it without y'all. Hit the little bell icon, switch it to all so you don't miss out any more content and smash that like button. Let's try to get the video up to 24 likes in honor of Kobe Bryant and in honor of 2K24 dropping this Friday. Man, the news that we've been getting around the community has been nothing short of interesting. I mean, from the different center builds to the different ideas with slashers and locks, there's a lot of stuff going around and I just kind of want to help everyone kind of rope it back in. So this build is going, I mean this build, this video is going to be for anybody who wants to go ahead and try to make the very best build possible on day one of 2K24. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about some past tense stuff that we already went over. So if you guys haven't, make sure to go ahead and watch some of the older videos. I got a whole playlist on the channel of all the 24 news so that way you can stay up to date. First thing that we're gonna tell, first thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about though, is we're gonna talk about how content creators have been showing you guys builds and I feel like they're not careful enough with some of the context around certain builds. Yes, it's clear as day when you see a build that has a whole bunch of offensive ability that they have no defense. By any stretch of the imagination, to the majority of you watching, the majority, not everybody, so people don't come and try to hawk me in the comment section, but it's going to be a bad build for you. The sad truth of it all is that no one wants to play defense for you. Unless you're talking about in a real competitive setting where there's people's pride or either money on the line, no one is going to play defense for you. Those type of builds ain't going to be it. You making a 6-6 with barely defense is not going to be it. You making a 6-2 with no defense is not going to be it. I'm telling you this for your own good, okay? Do not be the person to risk it all on a build that you see on YouTube. Unless it is someone you completely trust and they're gonna guide you in the right direction and the build actually makes sense. You should not be sold off of an intro. You should not be sold off of some gameplay. It has to logically look good. I mean, logically look good. I guess it does and it has to logically make sense. For example, do not be the guy who goes out there or girl who goes out there and doesn't make a build with no strength at all. I think the safest build for the average player or even the average player going to become good is going to be the 6-7 or the 6-8. And if you're going that route, you're going to want to put strength in your build. There are too many badges in the game that if people have a high enough strength can abuse. And the last thing you want to do is run into one of those people and you call yourself trying to have fun with your friends, playing with some randoms, running the wreck, whatever. And you just get bulldozed around the place. Like literally, you'll be like a stick versus a boulder and you'll just get ran over and next thing you know it's a dunk next thing you know it's a layup next thing you know is the game winning bucket because you made a build based off of a video that you've seen and you didn't really put no thought behind it. you just said well if so and so uploaded and it has a whole bunch of views it's a good build that's not always the case it's not i'm gonna say that right now as a person who i consider myself king of the randoms because i play with randoms all throughout 23 if you've never seen a piece of my content now you know that is the truth pretty much i only played a handful of games with a few people after that it's been all randoms all year so with that being said i know what i'm talking about when i say i've seen people with these you go for the build name and you don't focus on the build and next thing you know it's absolutely emphatically 1000 percent garbage to play with and I'm that guy who I end up passing you the ball and you can't shoot because you decide to go with a 78-3 ball. Once again, Mike Wayne said it's going to be possible for you to green if you have a 75-3 ball. I promise you this though, it is not going to be easy. Let's use our brains, y'all. If you remember 23, based off of your ratings, unlock certain bases and certain releases. There is no way, we'll probably find a base that will be effective but there's not, especially in the beginning of the game, you are not going to find a base with a 75 three ball day one that you're gonna be able to green consistently. For one, you don't got your badges. For two, you don't got hot zones. So it's like, and then plus, you might be playing with sticky finger 775 while somebody else who's actually like has legitimate teammates, they can afford it because guess what? 
their teammate is going to cover up their flaws. They missing shots, they're grabbing rebounds. Don't be that guy though, because you may not have that same opportunity. So Dubs, what's the answer then? How do I make a build and have fun and still be winning day one then, since you know so much, right? You wanna know the answer? Truthfully, make a build to your game. It's just that simple. I'm never going to really like strongly bash you for watching a content creator if you're watching that video with the pretense that, okay, I like how the way he did that, but I want to tweak the stats a little bit. That's completely fine. But don't go and watch no video just like, oh, that's that's dubs time. Yep, I just trust that. No, don't even trust me. Make the bill for yourself and look at it and go, does that make sense to me? If it does, cool. If it don't, then don't make it. Because you're going to have to be the one who's stuck with it. And I know times are hard right now. The economy is garbage. Everyone is struggling for dollars out here. So the last thing I want is you to have to wait till Christmas or till your birthday. Or if you work a nine to five and you like, dang, I, I don't even got another hundred dollars till two months from now or a month from now. When I get this little bit of money from this, don't be that person. It's okay for you to make more builds. I encourage you. I mean, heck, I encourage all different types of play styles if you can afford it, right? Or if you got the time to grind out and get the VC then by all means, go ahead and go crazy. But day one, I wanna make sure anybody who watches this video understands what is really going to be effective day one, okay? We're talking about post scores because no one's gonna understand how the defense works. We're all gonna have bronze badges to start, but if someone goes crazy and makes a true post score and they max out post control, you're not stopping them day one, you're just not. Unless you got a build to completely counter it, your badges probably won't even be high enough to negate anything that they got going on. So post scores are gonna be OP day one. Locks, pure locks, rim protectors are gonna be OP day one. Why is that? Because people aren't gonna know their jump shots and they're gonna to try to force themselves into the paint. So if you make a build with strength and interior defense day one, you will have a lot of success. Day one, week one, probably the first month, first month and a half, I'll guarantee. You'll have a lot of success and you'll be able to go ahead and get that one percentage up while having some fun because people are going to be experimenting with dribble moves if you're a lock gold right stick ripper gold glove heck any level of those two badges actually stack upon each other you're going to be ripping people just left and right they're not going to know what to do you're just going to and guess what's always the easiest thing to do in 2k rip someone and go get an open dunk and you're going to have it all day and night all day and night because you're a lock People aren't going to have high versions of a pluckable yet. People aren't going to know what Sebastian moves yet. People, hey, you're going to run to people who don't even know how to move. You're going to think they're going to lag and they're going to be uh, 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 all around the court trying to attempt dribble moves while you're just like, mm, give me those. Give me those. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's, it's putting two and two together. So post, defense, rather it's a lock or rim, those two are going to always be OP day one. Day one. Playmakers are going to go through some type of virtual hell realistically because they're going to be putting a straight jacket because of the locks just spamming away and steals are going to be back to probably having some use again. It's not going to be as nerfed into the ground as it was last year. I can bet your bottom dollar, at least for the first part of the year, I can bet my bottom dollar steals won't be touched like that. So do you really want to go ahead and try to be a dribble god day one? I mean, if you, it, it can play out in one of two ways. It can be the most fun you ever had and you could be cooking people up or it can be the worst time you ever had and then you're going to be like now i'm stuck with this bill and i don't have the money to go make another bill because i just made this bill and then you're gonna be stuck trying to figure out dang should i have just been a shooter should i just focused on you know finishing and been a slasher coming out of the corner like that's why i say it's super important to make a bill tailored to your playing style and looking at the things that people are taking risk on in the community some people are saying that it's going to be okay to have a 75 pass accuracy. I don't believe that. And I've never played the game because just to even get bronze bailout is an 87 pass accuracy. They say Tyrese Halliburton has the best passing style this year and you unlock that at an 89. So do I think that you're going to end up being able to throw steamers with a 70? No, that's not going to happen. Just like, I don't believe that if you go ahead and give yourself an 80 driving dunk, I'm just being honest. When I say this, there's going to be people who are like, well, Dubs, I'm not stupid. I'm not saying that you are, but let's keep it a buck because I see it a lot. If you think, oh, well, I'm going to go ahead and try to take this semi-open dunk with my 80 driving dunk, you're going to get blocked. 
don't be upset about it then because that's not your specialty you are trying to make a build that from what everyone is saying is unrealistic when you're trying to say well i'm gonna get the bare minimum threshold to get this animation here the bare minimum threshold and we do this every year but on day one it's kind of crazy because you don't know what those thresholds are going to be and even if you meet the threshold you don't know what certain badges are going to be good yet so don't be the one who takes the risk watching a content creator and just being like well they said this is going to be meta they were good last year they got a whole bunch of views they got a whole bunch of subs they got a whole bunch of followers let me go ahead and mm -mm. make it build tell to your playing style because you know why because regardless on if Duncan gets nerfed regardless on if dribble moves suck regardless on if steals get nerfed regardless on if shooting gets a nerf if you go and focus on like okay you want to just be a primary slasher you want to be able to have more defense than you do playmaking because you plan on coming off of cuts and being on the fast break and stuff like that go finishing go defense sprinkle in some passing because that makes sense make sure your strength is up make sure your free throw is up give yourself a little bit of a midi boom call it a day do not try to be the guy who's like hmm well probably bronze this is going to be good because remember guys we all get bronze badges whatever your build unlocks for a bronze badge you will get it off rip that's already been confirmed so let's keep that in mind when i say this do you really think bronze badges are going to save you this year i don't see it i personally don't believe it. if it's something that 2k is giving all of us despite whatever ratings and stuff we got do you really think a bronze badge is gonna save? Like, I get it. If you have like bronze and move on forcer and you're kind of like a big ish guard and you just wanna be able to at least stifen a defender just a tad bit, or you know, you wanna stifen that offensive player just a tad bit, I get that. But to think that that's gonna be your saving grace, this is not 2K21, 22, or even 23 anymore, where it's like, well, at least if I get this badge, it's gonna help me. I think those days are done and over with. I think it's going to be attributes reign supreme and badge level reign supreme this year. It's not going to be just a, oh, well, I got bronze this. I got bronze rebound chasers, so I'll go ahead and play like center for somebody in park. I don't think it's going to be like that. You're not going to be able to get away with low thresholds and low badges and think like, oh, well, that's good enough. So that means I should be able to dunk on you because I at least have bronze posterizer and bronze precision dunker. Like, no, focus on whatever it is you're trying to do and learn it master it have fun because truth be told even though i'm going to drop a build video day one like i said earlier don't even listen to me and my build don't look right you can tell me it don't look right i don't take no offense but what i can promise you is that whatever build i'm going to bring you guys is going to be one sustainable two have a clear image of what the build is supposed to actually be able to do and what you're trying to do on the build and three you're gonna have fun on it what more can you ask and anybody who's watched any of my build videos throughout all these years of me doing 2k will tell you that my builds are always right they're right and i'm going to explain to you what is good and what is bad i'm not going to just throw up a gameplay and be like hey y'all should make this build i got y'all back i know y'all got mine if you knew the channel make sure to hit that sub button Hit the little bell icon, switch it to all, so that way you don't miss out on any future content, because we're going to have build videos, we're going to have gameplay videos, we're going to have more discussions like we did today, we're going to have news videos, and this is going to be the place to get it, so make sure that you stay with it. Hit that like button, let's try to get the video up to at least 24 likes, and if you guys want to see me live, I live stream every single day over on Twitch, and with 24 coming out, I'm going to need people to run with, and I want to run with y'all. Come follow me on Twitch. I will accept your friend request then, and that's the only way I'm going to do it. But hey, until later on, y'all, where well, you can definitely catch me in the live stream, it's been your boy Dubs, and I love you guys as always. And let me know down in the comment section what build you guys want to make going into 24. I really want to read some comments and get some mindsets of the community right now. But uh, until later, y'all, peace. I know you guys are still sitting here and since you're just sitting here man why don't you go ahead and get caught up to date on all the latest news click the be on the left or click the be on the right and get right tonight man do yourself that favor